Welcome to my channel, Witchlings. I am Di, your favorite yoga witch, spreading kindness and love, living a magical life through yoga. And if you're catching this on a not-so-instant replay, don't freak out. The universe clearly has a message for you. So, grab your favorite crystal, light your favorite candle or incense, cozy up with your cup of coffee or tea if that's your brew, and get ready to receive this magic. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for your daily dose of divination. Our rune today is Kanaz. I th nope, nope, nope. It faces that way, I think. The divinity again is Heimdall. Then we have Freya, Freja, and Frey. The letter is K, as in king. The symbol is the torch. The element is fire. The trees are the pine, bilberry, hazel, all appreciated by dowsers and wizards. The plant is the ragged robin. The stone is carnelian and fire opal. The color is orange red and the animal is the dragon. Telluric energy that it is necessary to learn to master. And Kanaz says that you are coming into a new understanding of life and its meaning. New insights await, but don't be complacent. Use this new understanding or, well, it'll be worthless. Look for ways to use your insights for the good of yourself and others. Enlightenment can be replenished. The more you use, the more knowledge you gain. Enlightenment itself is not the goal. It is just the starting point of a great adventure that will show you great wisdom and understanding if... You proceed with truth and honesty. <clears throat> Relationship-wise, regardless of your gender, the rune Kanaz is considered more male and less female. It means Kanaz mostly personifies masculine male actions. Examples of such can be inviting one for a date, giving gifts, or even proposing. We're not going to comment on that right now. Um, in general, Kanaz can indicate the beginning of a new relationship. The rune suggests that a person inspired by love is capable of truly brilliant accomplishments. It can also indicate the birth of a baby. Okay. When it comes to work, Kanaz is interpreted primarily as creativity and professionalism. Accordingly, when describing a specific person, Kanaz often describes a creative person, a person who is capable of effectively bringing their talents to life. Of course, not everything is so bright and positive with creative people as it seems at first glance. Oh my God, is that not the truth? The rune can point out a situation when a person has a lack of inspiration required to continue their work. However, it more often describes a real master of their craft, thoroughly comprehending the subtleties of the subject they are working on. Our key takeaways here, vision, revelation, knowledge, creativity, inspiration, technical ability, the vital fire of life, harnessed power, the fire of transformation and regeneration. I'm envisioning the doctor. Power to create your own reality, the power of light. Open to new strength, energy, and power now. Passion and sensual love, wisdom, insight, solution to a problem, creativity, inspiration, and enlightenment. Now, if you want to use it for a magical purpose, it could be used for creativity, inspiration, healing, love, balanced relationships, and it adds power to runic talismans. And that's today's rune. As always, Witchlings, if you're enjoying this divine download, please share your support by liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and sharing it with your fellow seekers. And do not forget to hit that notification bell.